Yo, yo, yo. It's JV and Billy. How you feeling? Yeah, welcome back. Now, while I put up these groceries, okay, let me show you this real quick. Everything I got behind me, y'all see that? $37, boy. Highway robbery. <laughs> This video will be on how to grow through, how to get through depression and anxiety, okay? While I went grocery shopping, I was thinking about y'all. This video is gonna be short, simple, to the point, okay? See the Just Be Simple on there? Short, simple, to the point, because you don't need people to continuously talk to you. You need people to tell you different things to do in the real world. Not just to get you to watch the video, make the watch time longer on the video so they can fill up their pockets. I'm gonna give y'all the transparent, raw and uncut spill. I'm gonna give it to y'all because y'all love to watch people on the internet who love to talk. I'm gonna say that again. Y'all love to watch people on the internet who love to talk. You don't wanna know the real. You don't. Because if you did, you would take what a genuine person is saying, use those tools, experiment those tests in the real world, and you know it will make you better. Yes, it will be uncomfortable at first, but it will make you a better person. So, how to get through depression and anxiety. So today, that's what I did. Today, I went grocery shopping. Now, I love to do things with myself, by myself. Now that's a childhood thing that I'm kind of growing in and out of, but I love to do things, go places by myself to get the full experience because there's nobody like me, nobody. And I knew that at a very young age. I'm so unique, I'm so transparent and uncut. Damn, I love myself. So. <laughs> I treat my life as such, right? Now, the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis remind me of that. And yes, I went to Aldi. Shout out Aldi. <laughs> Everything I do on a day-to-day -day basis reminds me of that. So, how I operate is, for example, I love to do the dishes. I love to go grocery shopping. I don't know about y'all, but I love adulting. So guess what? Whenever I go out by myself and do these type of things, something that I love and I care about, I have a great time. I don't think about the darkness, the sad times. I don't think about that. I don't let it, I don't let that darkness cloud follow me everywhere I go. I don't let it cloud my judgment when I talk to people in real life. I smile, high energy, vibrant. Y'all are the same way. It's just you've gotten taught and scheduled every day to listen to people who are upset at women. Listen to people who are upset at rich people. Listen to people who are upset at food prices. Just little things. So. Once you are in this state, you kind of like self-soothe and massage yourself. It's weird. Now, I've been there, so I'm talking to y'all from experience. It was like, I didn't want anybody to talk to me if it wasn't something that would bring me down even more. You get me? It's almost like positive, upbeat, enlightened, enlightened things and topics. I didn't want to hear, but when it came to some drama and some negative shit, I was all ears, right? So, that's number one. Got some avocados, doing what you love. Doing that on a consistent basis. Because <laughs> you feed the beast. You feed the beast and you starve the bitch. That's the objective. You feed the beast and you starve the bitch. Do not let the bitch in you control your life. You are missing out on so many great opportunities 
a lot of money, a lot of great people in your life, all because you can't let go. All because you can't let go. Every single day, I am doing something that I care about. Boom, reading, making videos, talking to y'all, spreading truth, spreading knowledge, spreading insight. That's what I love to do. So, in order for me to not think about the dark times, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do what I love <laughs> every single day. I'm gonna do what I care about. So, in turn, what does that tell the universe? Okay, this person is going 100% in what he loves. Yeah, he's not dumb. He's not oblivious to what's going on. He's aware. She's aware. But why would I let that control me? Why would I let that dictate my movements? That's like saying because, because there's, let's say, 10,000 accidents that happen every minute on the minute in the world. I'm just making this up. I'm not going to drive my car. What? I love driving. I'm not gonna let everybody else's experience with car wrecks, accidents, as they say, I'm not gonna let their experiences dictate my driving skills, dictate my love for driving. You see what I'm saying? And this is what y'all get trained to do. So, whether you love playing basketball, you love being a great teammate, you love playing video games, you love going for walks. You love working out. You love doing squats, push-ups in your house. Guess what? You do a thousand push-ups. You do a thousand squats. With no expectation for, okay, once I get to 10,000 push-ups, I'm going to be a better man. or I'm a, The journey is lifelong. It's not minute long. I'm going to say that again. The journey is lifelong, not minute long. So you gotta continuously, continuously do push-ups by yourself, no music, music in your ears, no motivation, you don't feel like it. And then a couple years down the line, a couple months, damn, you kinda look good, bro, what's going on? And now you click. You click with somebody based off of you continuously doing what you love, and that's how you build a rapport. You build, you're building the rapport with yourself, number one, and people see a spark in other people that they see in themselves. We're all one and the same. Y'all get that? We're all one and the same. So in that same token, people see the mirror that you see of yourself. I'm gonna just put it like that. People see the mirror of yourself with you. They do. And you walk around with it. You know how girls had, you know, the, the, their makeup mirror, a little bitty. Everybody has that. Everybody. And speaking of driving, it's kind of ironic that on your mirrors, they say objects in the mirror seem closer than they appear. Huh? Come on now. Come on now. So it's very, uh... It's very beneficial to not get stuck in that loop. Now, y'all with anxiety, hey, being uncomfortable is the first step to becoming a better person. That's a fact. You have to be uncomfortable. You have to be, put those up there. You have to be uncomfortable. Uncomfortability kills. You know, they say they say comfortability kills, which is true. Uncomfortability kills. You know who it kills? The bitch. It kills the bitch. I'm gonna do what I know I should be doing off top, and when I don't feel like doing it, I have to do it. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. I have to do it. Because I already like doing it, so I'm going to do it anyway. But when I don't want to do it, and I just feel like being lazy today, I have to. When I don't feel like doing on push-ups today, 
I have to. Get on the ground. Shut up. I got to do it. That builds rapport. That builds the connection with yourself because you're not listening to your thoughts. You're not listening to your emotions. You see, you're growing past that because that is your, your thoughts and your emotions carry a low vibration. And most can, even from a high level thinkers out there, they carry a low vibration. So when you supersede those and you start viewing life in like a third person, yo, the opportunities, money, people, jobs, love, relationships, food, spots you go to, workers, co-workers, employees, bosses, it they just they just want to help you. They just want to help you because that is a skill that most people in life never acquire. So take these tools, take these gems, go out into life and just be simple, man. <laughs>